What's up everyone? Let's do some programming problems. If you're completely new to programming and you don't know anything about it, that's fine too. You're gonna to learn a whole bunch from this um, series of uh, tutorials, I guess. So let's get started on coding bat. Warm up one, we'll start with the very first question and it'll start easy and it'll get harder and harder and harder as we go. All right, so the first one is sleep in. Okay, this is our little programming terminal here. We can write our program in here and then when we click go, it'll run our program against a bunch of tests and we will see whether our program compiled um, and you know, um, worked correctly for all the different test cases and hopefully it will. So let's start with the first one. The parameter weekday is true if it is a weekday and the parameter vacation is true if we are on vacation. We sleep in if it's not a weekday or we sleep in if we're on vacation, okay? Return true if we sleep in. So we've got two values here, weekday and vacation and they're Boolean. So that means they're gonna be either true or false, okay? And this is the function that we're going to be testing. We're going to be running this function and then our little compiler is going to be testing it with a bunch of different test cases and hopefully it's going to pass for all of them. So let's think about our problem here. We sleep in if it's not a weekday or if we're on vacation. Okay, so let's start with the weekday thing. If it's a weekday, if it's not a weekday, um, then we're going to sleep in. So let's say if it's not a weekday, okay, return true because we are sleeping in. Okay, our second one is if we're on vacation, we sleep in. Okay, so if if vacation, okay, then return true. Now saying if vacation is basically just the same as saying if vacation equals true. It's just a shorthand, okay. So if we're on vacation, then return true. And now if neither of these tests passed, then we know for sure that we're not um, that, that we are on a weekday and that we're not on vacation. So we're definitely not sleeping in that day. So return false. Now this will pass all the tests, but it's actually not the best way of doing this. Um, we can actually do this entire problem in one line. And the way we do that is we make the program do the work for us, okay? We're gonna convert this entire um, kind of description into a logical statement. And so I'll show you how to do that. We just wanna actually return the statement itself and then our compiler will do all the work for us like our program will do the work for us instead so we're just going to return not weekday or vacation and you can think about this as, as in terms of like a circuit because basically um these values are being passed in and they're either true or false okay so it's 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 a completely logical statement right it's true it's trues and falses right so it's either we, well, let's just return the not of the weekday or vacation. So we're either returning true or true or false or true. And anything with a true and an or put together will always evaluate to true, okay? So we're returning not weekday or vacation because we're gonna sleep in if it's not a weekday or if it's a vacation. So if either one of these evaluates to true, then this will always be true. So let's run that. And we're gonna need a semicolon on the end as well. You can see that all the tests pass for that. So thank you for joining me for the first one. Let's move straight on to the next one in the next video, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to go through these with me.